So Julia, people apply their resume, apply for a job, uh, up they upload their resume, and then they get an email saying, "Congratulations, we would like to uh, we like to schedule a phone interview with you." So what tips do you have in terms of preparing for for a phone interview, and what questions they should ask at the end? Okay, sure. So one of the first things when it comes to a phone interview, I, I tell my clients that there's no real difference in how you prepare for phone or, or face, simply because you never know what the person is going to ask you on the phone. Uh, but one of the key things is to see if you can find out who the interviewer is on the phone. Can you go and look them up on LinkedIn or find some back background information about them to understand what their position is in the company, because then that will help to tailor the kind of questions you ask. If it's just a recruiter, they may only know but so much versus a hiring manager who may really know the position in the department very well. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one of the first things for, for preparing for the interview and just making sure that you truly understand your, your resume and the job description mm -hmm. so that you can relate your experience specifically to the job that you're being asked about. In terms, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, in terms, yeah, what questions they should ask. So in terms of the questions you should ask, it's really about understanding how does my job fit into the overall organization? What are you looking for in a candidate? Um, you know, uh, what are the next steps in the process? Mm -hmm. Too often people are afraid to ask that question, but you need to know up front, hey, well, what is it that you want me to do? Or what, what happens after that, after we get off the phone? Because that then holds them accountable and they just can't leave you out to dry. And of course, they should also send a thank you or follow up email, right? Absolutely. Send some sort of a thank you note. If you can do handwritten, obviously that's the, the nicest touch, but at least an email to say thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you for those great tips. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of preparing for a phone interview or what questions candidates should ask, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Julia.